Hi friends. In previous lecture, we had studied the derivation for extra widening of road. In this lecture, we are going to study the super elevation and its derivation. So, as we discussed already, the definition for super elevation. So. in order to counteract the effect of centrifugal force and to reduce the tendency of a vehicle to overturn or skid the outer edge of the pavement is raised on the curve the outer edge of the pavement is raised because the force which we which is going to be generated in the vehicle that is centrifugal force that centrifugal force is counteracted with the help of providing this super elevation curve and also the tendency of vehicle is uh, tendency of vehicle to overturn that is reduced it is done with the help of raising the outer edge with respect to the inner edge and thus providing a transfer slope throughout the length of horizontal curve by this way we can produce the we can provide the super elevation then the trans um, definition the, this transfers inclination to the pavement surface is known as super elevation or cant or banking jo slope जो इंक्लिनेशन आप प्रोवाइड करोगे ट्रांसवर्स इंक्लिनेशन सो इट विल बी नोन एज सुपर इलिवेशन कैंट और बैंकिंग देन हियर एज वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग दिस डायग्राम देन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग वाइडनिंग sorry objective of providing a uh, super elevation the rate of super elevation e is expressed as a ratio of the height of outer edge with respect to the horizontal width then from the figure you can uh, it is seen that the outer edge of the pavement is raised by nl that is equal to e and the rate of super elevation e may be expressed by here you can see nl जो आउटर एज है वो आउटर एज ऊपर उठाया गया है एंड इट्स डिस्टेंस इज ई ओके हियर यू कैन सी द इक्वेशन गिवन ई इज इक्वल टू एन एल अपॉन एम एल दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन थीटा देन द व्हीकल वाइल मूविंग ऑन सर्क्यूलर कर्व ऑफ रेडियस आर मीटर at a speed of v meter per second as shown in figure then following forces will act on the vehicle so in that first force will be centrifugal force p is equal to w v square upon g r it is acting horizontally outward through the cg jaise humne discuss kiya tha ki jo centrifugal force act karega then weight of vehicle it is acting vertically downward through the cg centrifugal force hua uske baad mein vehicle ka weight wo act karega it will act downward then the frictional force develop between the wheels and the pavement counteracting transversely along the pavement surface towards the center of the curve then friction force will also develop between the wheels and the pavement and it will counteract transversely along the pavement surface towards the center of the curve here you can see the reactions and the forces acting then the centrifugal force develop is thus opposed by corresponding value of the friction developed by the tires and pavement surface and by component of force of gravity due to the super elevation 
प्रोवाइडेड अब ये जो सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स डेवलप होने वाला है सो so, इसे जो डेवलप हुआ है सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स सो दस इट इज अपोज बाय करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन डेवलप बाय द टायर एंड पेवमेंट सरफेस एंड बाय कंपोनेंट ऑफ फोर्सेस ऑफ ग्रेविटी जो ग्रेविटी के फोर्सेस है और जो फ्रिक्शन डेवलप हुआ है विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स इज अपोज एंड हियर again you can see then analysis of super elevation so let theta will be transverse inclination e is rate of super elevation f is design coefficient of lateral friction then g is acceleration due to gravity then r a and r b are the reaction at will a and b respectively and f a is full value of friction force at a and b okay f a and f b then from the equilibrium condition p cos theta is equal to w sin theta plus f suffix a plus f suffix b and here the limiting equilibrium is reached when full value of friction force are developed and the value of f suffix a and f suffix b reach their maximum value for f into rb and f into ra so here again substituting this uh, value here f is the coefficient of friction and ra and rb are the reaction at will a and will b and therefore p cos theta will be equal to w sin theta plus f into r a plus r b again substituting value of r a and r b so we will get p cos theta is equal to w sin theta plus f w cos theta plus p sin theta again uh, by simplifying the equation we will get p cos theta is equal to w sin theta plus f w cos theta plus f p sin theta then again taking the common terms and simplifying the equation we will get p in bracket cos theta minus f sin theta that is equal to w sin theta plus f w cos theta then dividing equation 1 by w cos theta then what will happen the equation will change therefore p upon w 1 minus f tan theta that will be equal to tan theta plus f and therefore the centrifugal ratio p upon w is equal to tan theta plus f upon 1 minus tan theta thus the value of tan theta or traverse slope due to the super elevation seldom exceed 0.07 or about 1 upon 15 hence value of f tan theta is about 0.01 thus the value of 1 minus f tan theta in the above equation is equal to 0.99 and it may be taken approximate to 1 okay so 1 minus f tan theta will be 1 and hence the equation we will get that is p upon w is equal to tan theta plus f that will be equal to e plus f but as we know p upon w is v square upon gr therefore by substituting value of p upon w we get the equation e plus f is equal to v square upon gr and if the speed of vehicle is represented as v kilometer per hour then again the equation will be written as e plus f is equal to 0.278 v square upon gr that will be equal to v square upon 127 r and hence the equation will become e plus f is equal to v square upon 127 r 
okay thank you if there is having any problem then you can contact on the given contact number thank you thank you very much